Hi, I'm CC, and welcome back to an episode of our Minecraft 1.20 SMP. I am here on a brand new bridge that I spent far too long on. This is easily one of the biggest projects I've taken on the server, and I just casually did it, thinking, oh, this won't take that long. Why, why would I think that? Look at the size of this thing. Absolutely massive. This is what I guess is the Northern Western Rail, because it initially heads north, but then it finally ends up heading to the west, which is this way. And over here, you can see some of my cherry blossom area peeking out, and that looks so good from over here. Inside the center of this village is the new and improved roundabout design. It is about half the size of the previous one and uses about 10 times less resources. So, overall, massive improvement. This is a roundabout that will connect up Calyx, which is the name I have decided on for my Cherry Blossom area. The Western Rail, which is where all the things I said were before. And then over here, just on the other side of this hill, uh, I have no real means of actually getting over there. Let's quickly go into this water and use my brand new Riptide Trident that I found. Whee. That didn't work. I'm not work. Oh, I'm at spawn. Surprisingly, the first time I've actually died while using it. And that's because I forgot to put my armor on after the intro. I always take my armor off before the intro so you can see my uh, my beautiful skin. But uh, that isn't even necessary anymore because I have downloaded the Minimal Armor mod. So, or Minimal Armor Resource Pack. So... You can see my skin better, so it was a completely pointless death. So, yeah. Anyways, let's do this properly. Whee. So, what's over here is the swamp biome, because there is one flower that is currently unattainable in my flower farm, and that is the blue orchid you can see right there. But that is a future focus, because I need to make the rail between it, and I need to make all the sort of stuff around it, but... For now, what I want to do is I want to focus on... Calyx. So just over here, directly from the roundabout, is the Calyx station, or what will be the Calyx station. Let's go... Right now, it's just sort of a weird-looking platform. But this is going to eventually be the station. But this one is a bit of a weird, weird station. Because I want to have it so the rail kind of passes through the middle of the station. But if you want to stop off here, it will then take you off the side and put you into that side over there. Okay, so if you're coming from the south without a ticket, it will send you forward. There we go. And if you do have the correct ticket, in this case, uh, Calyx. It will send you to the right where there is a little docking area. And then here, this is the exit. By default, you will go left, like so. But if you have the right ticket, in this case, a right ticket, it should send you to the right. There we go, perfect, okay. So over here on the entrance side, when you enter the place, you will go up onto these little detector rails. And then once you do, that detector rail will then switch this track here with a little bit of redstone down below. And it will then allow the next cart to go to the next uh, uh, platform, I suppose. So the primary focus is going to be this. Oh god! The primary focus is going to be this little inner tunnel, probably. So I need to focus on this for now to make sure it's a good size. Is a big tower in the center, sort of like this, and then either side will have some sort of side bits that go up in like a little triangle. Looks a little bit churchy, but then I can have like a clock there. Every station needs a good clock. And just need to consider what the interior is going to be like. And 
and the interior is going to be bad, so I need to actually make it a bit, bit, oh god, this is going to be a nightmare, isn't it? Good way to start is just surround it in bricks, so I can lower it down by one block. So this bit here is going to be open and have the rail go this way instead. Yes it does, okay, good. So that is still going to be functional with the same redstone, that is good to hear. When the players get out of their minecarts, I would prefer if they don't have to get out onto the track. So what I might do is use trapdoors and make little sort of paths. Let's go, slowly but surely. Ah, that's an issue. When you get out of the minecart, you'll get out on the left hand block. So if I put the trapdoors here, now when you get out, you'll just be here, then you can just walk forward. That, yeah, that works. Oh. Okay, I've, I've got an idea but it's going to take me a little while, so I will be right back with a little update, or maybe a time lapse. We shall see! So I ended up doing a bit more than just the station, and ended up doing this bridge as well. So with this bridge, Calyx is now fully connected up to the rest of the server, meaning I can start actually sending items back and forth between spawn and my base and all sorts. So that is wonderful. Whoa, I've got some serious height there. <laughs> so yeah, there's the bridge. I think it looks really cool. A little bit out of place right now, but once I start doing some terraforming and detailing around it, it should blend into the environment a lot better. But uh, I've oh god oh also something I could eh, something I should quickly note uh, if my microphone sounds a bit weird, I've been having to install some new drivers and messing around with settings and stuff. So God knows what the quality is going to sound like. If it's bad, well I apologise. Hello. <laughs> So here is the station currently. It is in a bit of a weird state right now. It's kind of in an experimental phase where I'm just trying out a bunch of different techniques of texturing to see which looks best with the sort of white calcite aesthetic. It's kind of a hard block to match with other stuff without just going completely like different. Like diorite is quite a different texture to calcite, but then like concrete powder is too soft of a texture to use as texturing details, so I'm kind of struggling with that. So I thought instead I would do some like uh, additions, like uh, like adding some like this clock here and having these sort of overhangs to like hide the repeating texture, which I do like. Uh, I think I might have overdone it a little bit, but my actual strategy is just to basically inundate the area with details so your eye isn't as drawn to it. So here, where the bridge over there connects up to the station. I have got, <laughs> uh, yeah, where the bridge connects up to the station, I've got this sort of like uh, raised area that acts as like a bridge crossing here, and I think it, it adds a lot. It, it draws your eye a bit more than the station, which is the goal. I think my only complaint about the station right now aside from just like a few minor details, is I don't like how it looks from the front. I think this roof is a bit too bulky, so I might cut off those two side bits and just have it as like a single triangle. Uh, inside, I've got like a bit of a tunnel of love sort of aesthetic almost. It's not intentional, but I like it. Having like the, the wood along the side and then like ch cherry leaves to add like these bits of uh, petals falling down. Oh, it's, it's, it's nice. I like it. Uh, and also got some like shroom light and stuff hidden in the ceiling. It's, it's quite obvious when you look at it, but when you're looking at it like this, you don't really see it, so I'm not as bothered. I'm experimenting with different like things about the outside, like some barrels and chests or scaffolding. Also having walls to act as sort of bits of the thing where it's been cut out. I also tried using like bricks and stuff, but I think it didn't work because, well, this is bricks. Oh, also over here, one other thing. 
Uh, I'm experimenting with doing some overgrownness. I thought this might be a good way of texturing. And I do like it. I think it's good. But I want to be subtle with it. I don't want to be overgrowing everywhere. This might already be a bit too much, but I'm still liking it. Uh, so here is the tickets and chests. And I'm going to quickly grab the minecarts from there. Because over here... So, every minecart train has a minecart chest at the front, and then the rest of them follow behind. And, like, the minecart chest at the front is a bit... I, I, I don't really want that to enter into the actual docking bit here. Oh, I've got to move. I'll spend a sec. Uh, yeah, I don't want that to enter here, because there's, there's no reason to. All it does is add an extra step for the player to break it and then put it back into the system. So instead, I've built up this bit of uh, redstone here, and I'll quickly do a demonstration and explain how it works. So if I just quickly make a, like, a train of minecarts, the first minecart will go left, and the other ones will go forward. Like so. Okay, let's do a quick demonstration of how this works, because it is a little bit convoluted, but it functions and that's all I care about. So, basically, the first minecart will go over this detector rail, which then powers this pulse extender down here. But, because this redstone dust is on a transparent block, it can't actually connect the circuit, because redstone can't go down transparent blocks, it can only go up it. So, nothing will happen, and, and then the minecart will go around this corner and onto this detector rail here, which then powers this piston, pushing this block forward, which then completes the circuit. So the next minecart that goes over will activate the detector wheel, and that will then power the block, powering the resin down below, which then goes into this block, powering this torch, making the minecart go that way. And also, it will then power this repeater, which then powers this circuit. So even if this minecart wasn't here, it will still like keep this powered. So now, it will just... Every time a minecart passes over this detector wheel, it will then reset this circuit, then once this one times out, it will then unlock here, timing out this circuit, and then re resetting everything back to normal. Does that make sense? Uh, it, uh, it's not how I normally do it, but because of rail directionality and other stupid stuff that is complicated, uh, I had to basically make it up as I go. So <laughs> that's the idea. I can probably compact it, but I think it's fine. So, next step. But you just get rid of the minecarts. So the next step is two more buildings. One is going to be where I actually collect tickets. Because right now it's just this sort of chest here, which isn't ideal. Because you have to like actually manually like sort your tickets. And that's just, that's just asking for problems. So I want to have a little ticket booth where my current shulker monster is forming. Uh, we'll just pretend that's not there. So like over here-ish will be like a little ticket booth where you just kind of grab the tickets from like pre-built barrels and you just put them into the minecart yourself. Uh, eventually I might make an automatic way of like doing it, but I don't really think that's necessary for now since it's only going to be really going to Stockholm and Stockholm's only ticket is Stockholm. So yeah. yeah, I need a little booth and also I need to have somewhere for this minecart here to actually go. And it'll probably just go down below, underneath the floor, over to the ticket booth. So I'll make a little, like, fake building here that's just a way of hiding the cart going under the ground. So, just had a power surge and everything turned off. My PC went off, all of the outlets went off, it was not great. But it's now sorted and I can get to work on the ticket booth, which is basically just this. So, like, just have a barrel that has the correct ticket in, so for Stockholm it's just that, Swamp is that, Litterfall will be um, some other combination of tickets, and Spawn is that. But I've completely run out of paper, so I'm going to have to set up a sugarcane farm around here or something. But then on the bottom barrels, what I want to do is I want to have one of them dedicated to the minecart chest, and then one for regular minecarts, and I might also make one for hopper minecarts and Furnace minecarts, why not? And what I want to do is down below, I want to set up like maybe a dropper elevator that will then send the minecart chests that come from the bottom area up to here. 
think what I want to do is just have like a little shed that the minecart will go into and then that should theoretically be enough. Let's see if I remember how to make a dropper elevator. It has been a while. Oh. Is this all you need to do? Put a stone brick in here. Yep, it went up. Perfect. Okay, that's that's super easy. It's just a comparator into a some observers. Perfect. So now just to actually break the minecart. Ha! Project boxes for the win. Okay, and then I need some sand. I should have a... Yeah, there we go. Look at that. But, uh... There. So now when a minecart chest runs over, it should break on that cactus, go into these hoppers, and then go up to the top. So there's currently zero minecart chests inside of that barrel. Let's send that over. It should go down below. Yep, there you go. Perfect. Awesome. So now you can just use that for yourself. Awesome. Okay, so now it's just for aesthetics. It's a little bit ugly, but it, it's fine. It, it does, its, does its job. That's all I care about. <laughs> I'll just put some, like, trees around it and you won't even notice it. Okay, perfect. So, I think that is pretty... Yeah, that's fine. Just have, like, a little bowls and boards and then what's the back look like? Same, pretty much. Might cover that up with some trapdoors, maybe. And now it's just about doing some cleanup. Like, I need to actually make those roofs the same. They're not the same yet. Uh... <laughs> So I think what I might do is do a little uh, CC building montage. Not time lapse, just sort of first person this time. So, see you in a sec. And with that, that is where I am going to leave this episode, because I can finally start delivering items back to my base and also to this place, so it'll be a lot easier for me to start working on my projects now. I wanted to get one video out before Christmas, and this will probably be my last one of the year, so I really hope you all enjoyed. This year has been amazing, and I am excited to get back into making more videos next year. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Bye!